Hi guys. So we're here on the floor again because of a certain old lady that I'm gonna put on the side now. And uh, this time I had already filmed this video, but the sound got corrupted somehow. I don't know what the hell happened. So let's hope that everything goes well. Light again is what it is winter and since I'm on now on the floor I'm on this sea of whiteness let's just let's just accept it for what it is and go with it um, I'm here like you saw in the title to do the non-fiction book to non-fiction booktube tag uh, this tag was made by Olive on a book Olive and let's just jump right in shall we Question number one. How much nonfiction do you read? I read around two she, she, She's begging me for pets. I'm sorry um, I read I read around two to six books per month So not enough, but I think it's still not that bad um, What kind of nonfiction videos do you make or do you want to make on booktube to be honest? I'm not quite sure. I, I mean, I, I haven't made uh, non-fiction centered video on booktube I'm not really sure how I want to make them I do want to find some pearls that maybe people do not talk as much about or people do not know maybe because maybe I can find some Portuguese pearls who know it's I just want to make uh, conversational videos mostly yeah, I think that's it like any book, I, th I think it is accessible to people that people can read and will enjoy it. I just want to have a talk with you guys. Um, question number three. What's your favorite subgenre of nonfiction? I'm not... I'm gonna say history and nature, but... And there's a big but. That sounded awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but... I'm not exactly sure yet that's my what's my favorite genre because I like I like a little bit of everything to be to be honest I need to read more of everything yet still to, to be able to say with a completely sure that X or Y are my favorites but for now let's say history and nature uh, do you have a favorite non-fiction book? No, not yet. What do you think keeps people from wanting to read more non-fiction? I think people do not know exactly how much non-fiction there is and how accessible it is, how well written it is, how no, not boring it is, how, how there is non-fiction for everything everything that you can think of from sports to clothing to any animal any tree any plant almost i think just it's just people not knowing um next question is why do you like nonfiction? i like nonfiction because i really want i really love to learn things and I know that most fiction, of, I mean, I think we can say all fiction is somehow based on something real. And I think that it not only reading nonfiction not only en enriches your knowledge pool as a person, as it enriches your knowledge pool as a fiction reader, because you understand where things come from, where what inspirations were at play so yeah that's why i love reading non-fiction what's a non-fiction book you read because of booktube <sighs> several but the first that i remember when i read this question was the god delusion by richard Dawkins. yeah a good book really enjoy it have more books of him to read um I lost myself. What's a non-fiction? Okay, let's see. Number eight. What's the best non-fiction book you have read lately? I've read several, but the first one that I remember that like popped into my head as soon as I saw this question 
is um okay now this is embarrassing because i'm really not prepared this is a portuguese translation of a german book that i know that is translated in english but i don't remember exactly the name i'm not exactly sure if i'm gonna say it right but anyway i'll put the link to the goodrich page uh, down below so you can uh, be sure about the name but it's the secret life of trees by peter holpen this is how the name is written the name of the altar also really great cover also the back is really great and this book is basically about um about <laughs> trees and what you usually do not know about trees when you think of them you do not think that the, they have like a families or um, a communication system that they help each other survive that they <sighs> there are so many things that happen that they almost have fights with other other trees with other animals just really really slow fights uh, <laughs> And it was, it, it was really amazing to learn that and to to discover all that. I, for sure, I, I start imagining, uh, I start seeing trees on a different light. Uh, also, the only thing that people have to have in consideration while reading this, it, this is, I think that he is German, and um, I'm trying to find out if it is. I think it is, but I, now I cannot see see it same. But but let's go with German, and um, the forests he, he he quartered he worked on were German forests, so it's very specific type of trees and type of um, ecosystems and climate and all of that. So it's not like a global thing, though. Uh, I think I think it's still fascinating and I think that there maybe there is a book that has um, a little bit more of other trees on uh, trees from other parts of the world who knows this one was really really good um, next question what are some of your non-fiction reading goals oh. I do want to read more nonfiction next year. I do want to make it like a third of my reading. I'm not saying half, like half would be the ideal, but I'm not going to say that it's not. It's I know it's not going to happen because I have other goals um, that will probably won't let that happen. And I do want to read more history and especially... Uh, European history, but even, I mean, I do want to read all of European history to be honest, but a little bit more on England, because England or UK, let's say UK, a little bit more on UK because you guys know <laughs> that I am weak about that, at that country that, you, you just, you guys know, you guys know what it is. Uh, but also more about Portugal because it's a little bit embarrassing my lack of knowledge of uh, Portuguese history by this point and I do want to correct that uh, and and more nature also more nonfiction of nature nature writing I think those are mostly my goals for next year I mean I, I, I'm starting to to go to uh, to use that on on December, but it, you can't just say next year because December we're gonna like it doesn't count, does it? Um, and, and finally, the last question is: What's your advice for incorporating more nonfiction to your reading diet? I mean, it's pretty simple, really. If you like something, there will be um, a nonfiction book about it. Do you like? Do you like fantasy based on medieval settings? There's lots of history about medieval 
um, country, the medieval periods of certain countries, medieval fashion, medieval beliefs, medieval society. Do you like a sport? Any kind of sport? There is books about that. Do you like fashion? Well, there's books about fashion. Just think of what you like if on on your fiction or on your life or on your hobbies or whatever and go to to the non-fiction section and look for it and oh my god where the hell goes my okay this is winter <laughs> so why am i expecting now i'm glowing again okay like I was saying, think about what you like, go to your non-fiction section uh, of your library or for bookshop and find the, the section about that thing. There's there's something about it on non-fiction, there's memoirs, there's so many things. I think that's probably the best approach. And then there's a bonus question, there's to give some recommendation of non-fiction booktube channels that you love. I mean... A book olive is, of course, the obvious one, but I think everyone knows her by now. I think everyone knows Steve Dognew, so... Yeah, he also talks a lot about non-fiction. I recently discovered a curious reader. So, there's that. Uh, one... A, 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 a cup of books also has... Um, very good non-fiction suggestions and talks about non-fiction books and then there's one that I wasn't expecting enjoying so much that is bookmarks and breadsticks that's like the best name ever let's point this out to start with um, that talks about non-fiction but related with food and I was not expecting that I would like that I was expecting that I would just want to, to go to my kitchen and eat because that's what happened when I see things about food I see food, I want to eat food <laughs> To be honest, I do really want to do want to really want to read the books that she talks about. I don't know, but they, I didn't know that there were so many uh, interesting books about food. So that's the thing that I discovered. Thank you, BookTube. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys, if you guys have participated on on Nonfiction November, or even if you are not. Please do uh, feel free to do this tag and, and let us know what are your views on nonfiction because we all we all just want to snoop on you. So yeah, that's about it. Bye guys.